Hi there, I'm Rebecca Otten from Bravo Intimates in Motor City, Detroit, and we are bringing to you another style spotlight, and that's where we pick apart a style, we tell you all the features and benefits, and of course, we always have an expert with us, and today is the International Fit Ambassador, Allison Hawkins from Panache and Sculpt Trust. Welcome. Hi, Rebecca, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Yes, very well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, thank you for coming back again. And it's, it's just so exciting to talk with you because you have such a wealth of knowledge, not just on panache and sculpt dress, but on the industry as a whole. So it's really, really great to, to talk with you. And what I wanted to talk about was in our style spotlight, we usually pick one style, but today yeah. we wanted to talk about the two best sports bras that we carry from your brands, which are the 5021 from Panache and the 9441 from Sculpt Trust, which for some people it might be new, but we've had this bra for, gosh, I think it's going on two plus years now and we do really well with it. So I'd like you to talk a bit about the, the you know, the, the, the things that they have in common and then yeah. the, the differences between the two, because they are really unique in, in themselves. Yes, that's right. So um, we'll address the first one, uh, which is the Panache Sports Bar. It's the um, wired bra. Um, with the Panache Sports Bras, they, when product design first of all looked into the importance of why do we wear a sports bra? Why can't we wear a regular bra? Um, they done many, many studies with a lot of our top universities over here in the UK. Mm -hmm. And they took lots of time um, taking images of women running on tread machines, um, on the treadmill, just running with a bra on, without a bra on, measuring how much bounce a woman's breasts um, take when they're actually... Uh, a lot! <laughs> for any form of impact. So um, what came out of it was, when they done the filming, is as a woman was running, many women think their breasts will do this while they're running. Right. right. That, that's not actually true. What happens is, as we transfer our weight from side to side, from foot to foot, our breasts actually swing slightly. So what happens is our breasts take on a figure of eight movement. So as she's running, the breasts will be doing this. So by wearing a sports bra, the breasts go from this to an 83% less bounce. That's so we're amazing. looking at this. So we're going from this without a bra to this with a bra. Okay. And that's the best way I can explain what a sports bra will do for you. So bounce reduction. Bounce reduction. 83%. Is wow, 83%. That's, that's incredible. That's massive. It is. You're fine when you um, compare a panache sports bra with another brand mm -hmm. is the panache, panache sports bra will encapsulate the breast, not compress. Right. Which, which is, is really important. It's so I think important. most American women are still wearing a compression sports bra. So if you could just explain a bit about what a compression is and what it truly does. Okay, so a compression sports bra is often made from cut and sew. So they'll have multiple sections of the bra sewn together. They may have multiple layers to it, um, an inner sling. I've seen them with like an inner sling. Um, and the, the seams are very, very heavy. Um, and what that does, it compresses the breast tissue onto the body and flattens it. So it, it spreads it over a wider part of the body and literally presses it down onto the flat onto the chest. Yeah, like compacting it. Whoa. So these women are thinking, compacting it and squashing it. So literally, as they finish exercise, they take their bra off and they have this moment where their breasts go poof again because they have been so pressed. Whereas wearing a panache sports bra, what you'll feel is encapsulation. It will encapsulate the breast, not compress. And this is really important. So you, you are looking, you're cradling the breast tissue rather than flattening the breast tissue. So what you'll find maybe with, let's say a Nike um, sports top, which is a small, medium, large, extra large, what I often find is women will be wearing two of them. Oh, absolutely, or three. If they're really full busted, they'll come in and say, well, I wear three sports bras. And I'm like, 
Why? You don't have to, right? right? Just get fitted for your sports bra. Right. As you would for a regular bra. I think some women think, oh, it's a sports bra, it's okay, you know, make do. But they're made in such a different way with such a different type of fabric. You know, they're, they're breathable. As you're exercising, we're all going to get really hot. So what happens is the, the fabric expels the moisture away from the skin. So we're not left being all hot and soggy on the inside. Also, um, the sports bras, the panache sports bras, are of a moulded fabric. So the inside will be moulded. Mm -hmm. So therefore, what you can see on the inside of the cup there, if I just push one forward, there's actually nothing to chafe the nipple. I love that. I love that. Which is yeah. so, so smooth and soft. It is very, very comfortable to wear. Now, with a compression sports bra, you have all those sections to it. And right. those sections, as you're running, you start to chafe. And then it gets Yeah, because you're, you're doing, you're doing much bigger figure eight in those compression yes. bras, which, yes. you know, it really does give them the impression because they're tight and they're mashers, as I call them, uh, the, okay. it gives them the impression that they're being supported. They're just being smashed because I still see them doing this as they're running down the street in these compression Absolutely. bras. Absolutely. Um, and we don't want to compress breast tissue. It's the last thing we need to do. It's different if you're coming out of surgery and you need to, on your right. GP's advice, on your doctor's advice, um, on your surgeon's advice, you know, that's a completely different field. But when you're exercising, we want to encapsulate, not to compress. This encapsulation has an effect on the desired look as well. Sure. So when you're wearing a compression bra, it pushes you in and makes you look very flat. With a panache sports bra, because it encapsulates your breasts, it actually still gives you an amazing shape. A really, really great shape. It really, oh, really, really does. Yeah. And what you'll find is when you start to, um, when you take the bra off and turn it inside out, what you'll feel is the wire doesn't run all the way all up the, way the top to the of the bra. Right? It, actually stops, yeah, it actually stops halfway down. And sure. what you'll find when you're exercising in the panache sports bra is as you bend forward, the wire is not going to impale you on the center of your chest wall. Important, you know, because you never know what kind of sports they're doing. I mean, in our fitting room, we have a menu here and, and you can't see it back here, but it says, you know, what impact are you doing? One, two or three. And then we list the different uh, sports underneath the impact so that we can help guide her through what she's doing so that we can get the right level. But this is yeah. because of the way that it's designed, she could wear this for any sport. Absolutely. Also, um, when you look at the back of a um, panache sports bra, you'll find that the where the hooks are, it's actually cushioned. You I love that. Have a little cushioned area here. So when the bra gets done up, when you do the bra up at the back, the hooks, when you're lying on the floor, won't dig in. It won't dig into the, the spine. So therefore, it's very, very comfortable even to lay flat on your back um for, for doing exercise as well right so any kind of floor exercises you're doing whether you're doing pilates even yoga i mean it's such a great bra that it, whatever position you're in you're not going to feel those hooks and eyes that's right so also an added feature and benefit are the straps mm -hmm. so when you um if you could just look at the strap for me rebecca that's great so as you can see that's fantastic. It is slightly shaped, but when you squish it again, it's the same um, material used in the back padding of the hooks as well. Oh. So you have a real comfort strap. It's sure. lovely and lovely, soft and comfortable to wear. It's slightly wider, so therefore it sits on the shoulder. Very nice. And again, on the back, if you make the straps uh, to the longest point possible, mm -hmm. you have a J hook. So this will allow you again to take the back of the bra into a racer back. That's perfect. So this takes all pressure off of the shoulder base here. It will take stop the straps slipping off of the shoulder and now you've actually gone up another impact level as well with your support because it's even fitted even closer to the skin now so it's closer to the chest wall closer to the 
the um, the neck area. So you're really, really fixing that bra onto the body as well. Yeah, I, I like that because it gives that top cup kind of encapsulation even more for my runners, um, volleyball players, yeah. downhill skiers, whatever. She's going to feel, as I say, locked and loaded in that bra. Locked and loaded. So, um, and as we were saying with a compression bra, the compression bra will make you very flat. Mm -hmm. So um, with the wired bra, you'll get that good separation and that good breast detailing as well. So we're going to have two buns and not a loaf. <laughs> two buns and not a loaf. I love that because nothing, you know, and in the US, they call it a uniboo. They don't yeah. want one big massive breast. No. And when you are full busted, and you get all that tissue into a um, compression bra, they, they tend to sweat more down the center. That's so that's it's that's much that's more that's comfortable, that's right, to have, right. So we, have everything in its own home. That's right. So uh, most definitely, most definitely. And what actually aids this on the, um, the Panache Sports Bra is a technology that's used with the, with the wire. And I've got one here for you, Rebecca. Oh, wonderful. Let's, let's take right. a look. Oh, okay. So this, um, the wire that's inside the 5021 has actually been Im embedded into silicon. So that's if I do it, it's so comfortable. That's why it's so comfortable. So we have a deep silicon um, casing, really. It's like right. a, a wire casing. So the, the, bed, the wire has been embedded into a silicone pillow almost. Wonderful. So the pillow side is next to the skin. So as you're, do, as you're exercising, you're not even going to feel that wire. Right. So you'll feel the wire on the outside, which is fine because that's away from the skin. It's away from the chest wall. The most important part is the, the pillow section here next to the skin. And that is what actually makes a massive difference on a good sports bra. Interesting. And I imagine as you put that on and that silicone heats up, you're just going to feel even more comfortable and kind of like, dropped into that cup for a custom fit. That's right. So um, when you're putting your sports bra on, it's super important because again, the, um, the high spot on the cup is actually quite close to More the top of the, the top. Fit. Yeah, so sometimes some customers say, well, it fitted me when it was when I, you fitted me in the shop. And it's, that's why it's super important to bend forward yes. with your sports bra on, bend forward and scoop and swoop yourself into the right position. And again, you do have to lift the nipple up quite high and then make sure it all settles down and yeah. fits you properly. And when, and they, come, when they come to us, um, we, we don't take anything for granted. We go through the Bravo experience, if you will, in yeah. the fitting room with every customer, almost every time, whether she's been with us or not, we take nothing for granted. And, you know, I explain to them, you know, kind of put your hand under your arm and bring all that breast tissue in front of the wire and then drop it. And that helps get that wire anchored properly against the body so that it's, it's holding everything properly. And, and you know, you just can't educate enough, right? No, that's right. And that's where we want, we want that wire sitting on the root of the bust. So the breast, like you say, we want the breast tissue to fall down onto the wire. And again, that will stop any type of chafing as she's exercising. Wow, that's great to know. Wow, that's a really great feature. And it's nice to see, you know, we hear about it, especially when we're at market buying the products for our stores, you know, the features and the benefits. But to actually see that casing like that was really, I think, really important. So wonderful. So we, we sell a, a lot of the 5021, but now there is the 9441. And, yeah. and we, we love that bra as well. And for a lot of the same reasons, but also some different reasons. Okay, great. That's really good to hear because um, Sculptress have produced their own sports bra now. So Sculptress is very close to my heart. Um, I love the brand. Um, it's for our full of figured lady. It's for mm -hmm. our curvy girls. And there is no reason why she shouldn't have her own specific brand, a brand that's been designed specifically for her. Right. And that's where Sculptress comes in. So she doesn't just want her basic everyday bra, she needs her sports bra as well. So whereas the 5021 has a um, molded uh, cup to it. More of a firm cup. 
with a firm cup with a pad to it. What you'll find with the Sculptress Sports Bra is it's unpadded. So there is no padding to it as well at all. So it's a lot lighter to wear. So she's not actually going to feel heavy. She's not going to feel bulky. She's not going to feel like she's added a size because all it is is uh, two layers of fabric. So we have an inner simplex, which is firm and rigid. And then on the outside, we have the soft, stretchy fabric, which will mold to fit. I think that's really, really great, especially for my girls who are ultra curvy. They might be a 34H, a 34 double H. So she borders between that full figure and that average figure size, but she's, yeah. she's very full busted and she's more curvy. And, she, you know, sometimes this bra, the 5021 with the, with the molded cup is just too bulky if she's short in the upper torso. Absolutely. So it would come up too high on the chest wall and then she's got no space from exactly. her chin. Oh! Yeah. So her bust, she just feels it's all too much for her. So right. what you'll see with the sculptress, it has a slightly more of a sculptured neckline. So it will come down slightly lower, but yeah. the centre gore is still nice and deep. Um, you still have the benefit of the wire stopping before the top of the cup. So she's not going to impale herself. So it's nice and comfortable to wear. Yeah, that wire also, is right about here on her. That's right, on, on the center of the breastbone there. So she can take her, you know, take any type of exercise and not have that risk of it actually digging into her. Right. Um, with the sculptress, what you'll find is the wing fabric here has been what we called in the, in the trade bagged. So yeah. the, the fabric, when, it, when the bra is being designed, is when they're making the, and this is on all sculptress bras, not just on the sports bra, but they are made inside out, and then at the last minute before the hooks and eyes are made, uh, joined on, they turn it in the right way. So therefore you have no harsh uh, cradle digging in on the side. Mm -hmm. So on your wing fabric here, there's no hard cradle to dig in. It's all soft, and it sits nice and flat to on, onto yeah. the top though. It does. In fact, it, when I have somebody in the fitting room and I'm putting them in sculpt dress, I mm. always say this is a non-roll smoothing underband because it's wider and it's more, more or less other than this bra, one piece and it just smooths that, as you call it, angel wing area. And then the band down here inside is a little wider. So it really yeah. is flat nicely. Uh, Again, you're going to get a nice firm fit, but you're not going to have any issues with anything spilling out over the top. Right, right. Very important, especially Very when we're working out. We still want to look good when we're working out. That's why we're working out. That's it. So if you could just turn the uh, sculptress bra to, to the back so we can take a look at the features and benefits at the back of the bra. Thank you. So what you'll see is, as you've already mentioned, Rebecca, the back of the wing fabric is slightly deeper. So that will encapsulate any angel wings we have. Also, again, on the um, hook and eye section, it is cushioned. So when we lay down on the floor, we've got nothing to dig in on us. Yeah, that's great. That's a great feature. And again, then we've got the comfort strap, nice and cushioned, great for um, a longevity, great for, for comfort, for, for, you know, all day wear as well. Because yeah. did you know, you shouldn't just wear your sports bras to do sports in. I do. I, I, I try to explain to customers that this can be more of an integrated bra into your wardrobe, but tell us some of the other reasons that you might wear your sports bra outside of workout. Okay, so I always ask my customers what they do as an occupation. Mm -hmm. um, it's really important to get insight into their daily, their daily activities. Yeah, um, and what I find some of my customers their lifestyle they may be a nurse a doctor they may be a policewoman um they may be a physiotherapist they're going to be doing some very very long shifts all day on their feet they don't want that little plunge bra no, that they want you know, this they need and they want that you know that you have we have to educate these customers they you know what their wants are and what their needs are and at right. the end of the day we need to fulfill their needs first and by making sure that not only they can wear their sports bra for doing their sporting activities, it's important that they can realize, well, you know, I can wear it as a work bra. 
Right, right. And that and that's part of what we do in the fitting room is, you know, what do you do? Are you on your feet? Are you seated most of the day? And they want the most support that they can get if they are, you know, in law enforcement, if they are physical therapist, massage therapist. She's moving over the top of people all day. I have emergency yeah. room nurses that work downtown Detroit. They work midnight shifts. They're moving people, you know, especially in the summertime, those emergency rooms are busy. Um, this is the type of bra that we give them, not just yeah. for the max support, but also the wicking fabric. Yeah, the fabric that whisks the moisture away from the skin. Right. It's, you know, it is, it's, uh, so it's, it's not just a sports bra, that's what I would say. It's, it's a good all round. Um, and also for our younger clients as well, you know, she, she's um, developing and, you know, mm -hmm. some of my younger customers do have quite a full bust on them. You know, they're quite wow. easy, an F cup at 14 years old. Absolutely. And, you know, she can be quite conscious of, of wearing something lacy or see-through. So by popping her in a sports bra, for one, she'll carry on doing her sports and sporting activities but two she's got a bra for school as well and sometimes you know you're running down the hallway from class to class and you know young girls i don't know how it is in the uk but in the us they they don't want to be bringing attention to this area and then they might have sports after school so they can yeah. wear this bra to school and then go right into sports. So yeah, it's a great, great piece. And mom can be, you know, happy that she knows that the daughter's fitted right, getting the right support. It's not all sitting on her shoulders and riding up yeah. and back. And yeah, it's, it's a great all around piece. Yeah, definitely. Also because it's not sheer, so um, you've got that good modesty cover to it as well. So yeah. it's very, very important to, for a, a young woman to feel comfortable and confident as well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, any, any other tidbits that you have about either one of these sports bras for us? Um, I just think it's getting the right sports bra for the right person. Um, it's definitely, you know, you may think, oh, well, they look similar, they look the same, but they are completely, completely different. They are. Um, you know, and really to get into be fitted is imperative. You know, it's our, it's our number one goal as bra fitters to get everybody in that right size bra, because when you do, it really does make a difference. It can be look quite life changing. It's true. In fact, our company mission is to free women from ill fitted bras. So that's the, we'll, we'll leave it there. And until next time, thank you again for being with us. You're a wealth of information and just a delight to have. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. Be great. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.